Good afternoon, everybody. This is Hartford County Audit. We are now back with another video. So today we will be discussing the S parte protective order. Um, so clearly, the applicant had put in the terms and conditions of protective order that indicates that uh, the respondent surrender or transfer all firearms and ammunition. So state law of Connecticut states that an enhanced service preference will, shall be that the law provides that the state marshal shall, whenever possible, provide enhanced service of the order. See general statutes as amended by Public Act 16-34. So today we're going to discuss about the fact that um, State Marshal Allen um, improperly served me last week on Thursday. Um, I heard a knock. Uh, reminder, there was no contact. There was no words as things going between back and forth. Because as I approached my front door from my bedroom to see who was knocking on my door, the marshal, <laughs> he does it all the time too. The marshal had put a finger in the peephole so I wouldn't see exactly who it was. So before he removed his finger out the peephole, I saw some paperwork like this being slid into you know, the crack in my door. And um, once I opened it up, you know, of course, the paper's gonna fall on the floor. I opened it up, I took my cell phone out, and I had recorded to see who exactly was serving me improperly serving these paperwork. And come to find out, it was Allen. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys proof of what he did and what, how he did it and how it was improperly served. He has stated that he tried to serve me or get in contact with me two days prior to the day when he did uh, improperly serve me, which is that Thursday. So he said he tried to reach out to me two days ago, which wouldn't have been on a Tuesday. So clearly, when you guys watch the video, if you were trying to get a hold of me on that Tuesday, when you were trying to get a hold of me, why is it that you didn't contact me, email me, call my cell phone? Because my cell phone is provided on the, um, the, the applicant's information, my cell phone number, my email. And I have not received not a single call or any type of email indicating that he was trying to get in contact with me to serve me this uh this protective order. So I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. I don't know if you guys can see, but you see what the judge had granted the applicant surrender or transfer the firearms and ammunitions. And it was obviously signed by every Weststone. And I'm gonna show you guys the Connecticut state statutes in the hand service. See, the law provides the state marshal shall you guys see that okay good now i'm going to show you guys a video of how this marshal improperly served me he gets away with it all the time remind you he's independently so but i, I did tell him you need to stop doing that because you do that all the time so but yeah i'm going to show you guys the video real quick you guys let me know what you think Are you supposed to hand it? He's supposed to hand it to me. It huh? You got it. You know about it. Yeah, he's supposed listen, to hand it to me, though. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey, what's the, what's the policy? What's the policy of serving? You're supposed to hand it to the person, right? Okay, you got it. But you're supposed to hand it to the person, though, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Alan, yes or yes or no? Okay, let me let me be blunt. No, no, right. just answer yes or no. You're supposed to hand it to this person, right? You're supposed to try to hand it to the person. Try to, and if you don't hand it to the person, then what? Then they still gotta go to court. But if that's improper server, yes or no? It's proper service, I swear to God. But if you didn't serve swear. it by hand, if you didn't serve it by hand, Jonathan, you know that, you know that, Alan. No, <laughs> you know that. No. You know that. Listen, listen. Be careful, please. Okay, answer the question though. Did you did you improper services or not? 
No, there's proper service because I tr I tried to a few times. You weren't here. A few times when? Because there's cameras in my house and there's cameras downstairs too. When was the last time you tried coming here? Two days ago. Two days ago. What what day? What time? I I have no idea, Jonathan. Jonathan, I run my ass around ragged. Okay, but you can't keep continue to improper serve. You know that, right? You got it. You're right there. I'm so two days ago, what day and time did you come? I don't, I don't, come on. All right. So when you guys saw the video, right? He said he tried to a few days ago on that Tuesday. So I'm asking, what time was it that you came inside my building? Because knowing me, I can simply just for your request. The, the 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 surveillance cameras that's inside the, the the elevator or the ones that's in the entryway when you first come inside the building so i can always for you request to see whether or not you actually showed up on that day and um so my only question is if you can improperly serve me the way you did it on thursday without getting in contact with me how is it that you wouldn't you, you didn't do it on tuesday it was what's the big difference you could have easily just did the same thing as you did on thursday and proper served it and do it and did it on tuesday like what is the difference <laughs> i don't get it so as you all saw what Allen did he knows he was in the wrong and i hope to god because i know judge ab weststone her and i both relationship we don't see eye to eye she handles my um my family court you know involving my son and my child's mother and i hope she does the right thing i hope she either try to get rid of this because it was improperly served i don't want to file a motion to dismiss that's a whole bunch of writing down in this and all that and first and foremost the the respondent i mean the applicant complaint was all falsified <laughs> this is all perjury remind you this is also defaming my name so if i wanted to I can file a civil lawsuit for defamation of character from this applicant because I'm not going to read exactly what it says, but this is all falsified. This is all perjury. This is all BS. And like I said, I hope every Westin does, Breaststone does this, uh, the right thing. I did speak to the supervisor from the judicial branch. Her name is Robert from Family Relations. I spoke to him. You know, I told him about my problem, about what happened with Alan and properly serving. And um, I'm hoping that judge does the right thing, get rid of it or advise the applicant to refile again so that the the service can be properly served but yeah that's all folks but yeah we the people harford county audit you guys have a good one peace